People in Dayton joined together this afternoon to remember a mother shot and killed inside her home. Police say 22-year-old Kiana Murray was gunned down when shots were fired into her home from the outside. Now her uncle wants to see changes to bring an end to the violence. Kristen Eskow is live with the latest on this developing story. Kristen. Yeah, John, family and friends say they want justice for Kiana Murray. Today we spoke with her uncle at a prayer vigil held for her. That he says he also wants to see kids choosing alternatives to the violence. Balloons fly high for Kiana Murray, a 22-year-old shot and killed inside her home on Lorenz Avenue. Authorities say she was shot in the head as she held her daughter in her arms. She was vibrant, you know, she loved her family dearly. Uh, she had she had a lot lot of good friends, a lot of loving friends, and she loved her friends also. Emmanuel Moody now mourning the loss of his niece. He says he's frustrated by violent crime in his and other communities. It's just a simple you, you want to pull the trigger, and it's you're touching so many lives. Moody says he wants more after-school activities in his community to help keep kids from making the wrong choices. Impacting many families, even their own. Well, these kids, they don't have anything to do. Video games and then being in the streets. And all they're doing is trying to mimic, you know, what they think is, is the way to go, which is not the way to go. Moody says he believes it's also about making sure kids understand the value of community. It's times like this where you only see people come together when a tragedy happens. So we can get a better mindset in these in the mind frames of these kids to let them know that, you know, being hard and being thuggish isn't isn't all what it's cracked up to be. And police say a 17 year old has been arrested in connection to this incident. Police say that teen is being held in the juvenile justice center on a murder charge. We're left tonight in Dayton, Kristen Escow, two news working for you.